Welcome to a new and updated top 5 wireless mouse video, which will come out as my number one. I'll be rating these on quality, cost, reliability and a few other factors such as my own personal biases because it's my top 5 list so I can do what I want with it. First of all there will be links in the description below if you wish to purchase any of these mice. All the prices given are from the time of the review and I will show the previous top 5 on screen now or a bit before so you have more time to look at it. At number 5 which has dropped down 4 places is the Ninjutsu Origin 1X, a mouse that I hold dear to my heart as it revived a legendary mouse shape and updated it for today's use. The size of this being 121mm long, 58mm wide and 40mm tall and weighing just 66 grams, this mouse is surprisingly still light even without any holes in the shell. Their very first version of this mouse was a bit rough with a stickier coating and a USB type C port requiring a ridiculous amount of force to plug it in and out. They quickly acted on this feedback to improve it to the one that you see today. With a Pixar 3335 sensor and KLGM 8.0 switches this mouse might not have the best sensor on paper but for me it makes up with a great shape that has been comfortable to use for a long duration. However because of some of the new entries and standards keep being raised as time goes on this has dropped down but still deserves to be in my top 5 as it's a mouse that I just love to keep going back to every so often. With a price of around about $80, it's a respectable price for a holeless wireless mouse, it most certainly is worth picking up. You might wonder why the new Katana Superlight isn't on this list and it's mainly because I prefer this one as it has a USB Type-C charging port and not the magnetic one. At number 4 we have the Pulsar X-Lite Wireless which has dropped down by 1. A mouse from a new manufacturer, Pulsar, who are aiming to make high quality gaming peripherals and their first wireless mouse really hit the sweet spot. With the measurements being a height of 122mm long, 66mm wide and 42mm tall and a weight of just 59 grams. This mouse has some incredible internal with a nice ergonomic shape and a different take on the honeycomb holes this one has lines that are holes not you know honeycombs or circles but also a massive hole at the bottom there's no need to fear the delicacy of this structure as it has a military grade rating so it most certainly is robust and shouldn't fall apart the shape of this mouse is a bit small for me with it never really seeming to get snug up against my grip for some people this mouse is even too big so they're making a smaller version my time using this mouse has been pretty great with a surprising amount of build quality that really raised the standard as to what to expect from a mouse of this tier with some new manufacturers there's always a slight bit of reservation as to what you're going to get but Pulsar really did a great job of delivering something very well made. But not only that it comes at a respectable price of around about $80 which is very impressive when you take into account the best in class internal hardware. It is one of the mice in this list that has really somewhat shaken up what to expect from a gaming mouse and for what price as this mouse really doesn't compromise on anything. Pulsar has it stopped there with a V2 version coming soon which aims to improve on the design of this one as well as a symmetrical one in the future. I just wish that this mouse was a little bit bigger for my palm grip, there just isn't enough contact on the left side of my hand to the mouse. These guys are a very exciting manufacturer and I'm sure that their products will be a regular feature in future lists. At number 3 we have a mouse that might throw all my credibility out of the window, the Steel Series Prime Wireless. I have moved this mouse up and down my list constantly over the past few days and as I've been writing this it still has been moving up and down and I'm not sure if it will stay in this spot. In fact this has been in every position apart from number 1. So the Prime Wireless is 125mm long, 59mm wide and 42mm tall and weighs around about 80 grams. This mouse is a special case, for me at least. When holding it, it's probably one of the more comfortable mice that I have used, especially for my meaty palm grip. But there's so many reasons why it shouldn't be this high up, or even on this list. It's using a 3335 sensor, which is a pretty low range sensor considering most of the other premium priced mice are using much better ones. Still series probably have tweaked this one a bit though. You get some fancy switches which are somewhat hit and miss to a lot of people as they can be a bit stiff, but I personally haven't had an issue. And these are rated for 100 million clicks, which is a very high number. There's also the weight being at around 80 grams, which by today's standards is a bit heavy for some people, or should I say weaklings. I had to replace my first one as well as the mouse would just disconnect randomly. Its price is also outrageous considering that the other mice have far better interior hardware and are at a lighter weight. It's around about $130. In my review I mentioned how I wouldn't recommend paying that much for this and I still think that. 
but if you can get it for around about 40 to 50 dollars less then it would most definitely be worth it for some reason i still really like it holding it feels great and just overall it feels like a super mouse to use i just can't quite understand why but this one always sits at my desk and even sometimes without me knowing i find it in my hand again the coating is great the shape is snug and it's just nice to use is that enough for it to be in my top five yes it is it still is a frustrating mouse as it could be perfect but with most steel series products these days there's always a downside with them at number two we have the Fnatic Bolt, another new entry in this list with this mouse only being a couple of months old. Fnatic literally kicked down the door and crushed the party that contained all the big name manufacturers and flipped over the table with all the snacks on it. This mouse is an incredible offering from Fnatic with a more claw grip focused shape with the sizes being 120mm long, 55mm wide and 38mm tall and weighing a 67 grams without any holes and a really nice coating. This also comes with some incredible internals, a 3370 sensor, KLGM 8.0 switches as well, and a whopping 110 hour battery life. This mouse really does tick a lot of boxes for people that are wanting a mouse that is more similar to a Viper Mini, or a mouse that has a more of a claw grip focus design. Honestly, this could be my number one if only I could get used to the grip of the mouse. When I used it, I really tried hard to keep using a claw grip on this thing, but I just couldn't. So it wasn't really comfortable for me, but I wish I could. If only I could go back in time and tell young me to not be so ham-fisted with my mice. Any mouse that makes me wish I could use a different grip type is most definitely a good one. This is the second mouse that I feel changed the expectation of gaming mice, especially in terms of internal hardware and pricing. And at around about $80, you are getting an absolutely fantastic mouse. You can tell Fnatic really spent a lot of time getting this mouse right the first time, and they definitely did. The lack of holes makes this an incredibly tempting mouse, and I really hope it does well. I really hope they make an EC2 type shape. I'm begging you, please do it, Fnatic. For number one, we have once again the undisputed Logitech G Pro Wireless Superlight. A mouse that once again sits on top of its throne, looking down at all the peasants below it fighting for scraps, trying to compete against its fine form. The shape being 125mm long, 63mm wide, and 40mm tall, and weighing a super light 63 grams, this mouse first existed as the G Pro Wireless, which weighed around about 83. Then people demanded wanted something more, we wanted a USB Type-C connection and something lighter. Logitech said fine and just gave us the reduced weight. Regardless, I still cannot resist the pull that this mouse has over me, a fantastic ambidextrous shape that eclipses even some of the comfort that you'd expect from ergonomic designs, a mouse that from the top to the bottom just feels great to use. There is no doubt in my mind that this mouse remains number one. Many have tried and come close, I'm sure it won't be long. Despite this, it's a mouse that is a go-to for most professional gamers and for a good reason. 